everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's mvsuvclub.com.
everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we are ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we are ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MVSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's mvsuvclub.com.
everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MVSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's mvsuvclub.com.
everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our <laughs> Valley Sports Network, we're back for the first swag action of the season. The Mississippi Valley State Devil Lakes taking on the Alabama State Hornets. And tonight, for your Alabama State Hornets, you have number two, Ryan Tillis, number four, Dakaya Sanders, number 23, Shamaya Carruthers, number 24, Whitney Dunn at number 30, and Nigel Hall. Early turnover for the Hornets. The Devil Lips come out with Shadana McKnight, Jaleel Reed, Lizzie Walker, Gabrielle Bunch, and Amberly Brown just starting fire tonight. We'll have our first free throws of the night. Early foul on Alabama State Hornets. That'll be number two, Tilly. Hornets come out tonight looking for their first win of the season. Yes, yes, and the Devil Lips are looking for their first swag win of the season as they had a Tough non-conference schedule. They went on the road, took on number one LSU Tigers, and then went back a week later and took on the number one South Carolina Gamecocks and ended with a nice one on the road against Alabama Crimson Tide and just trying to bring in the new year with a win. Not only are the Alabama State Hornets looking for their first win of the season, they're looking to end a 10-game losing streak against the Devilettes. And MVSU get the first points of the game at the free throw line. Shot from the corner. With no good rebound by Amberly Brown. When it done, missed. Come down, Amberly Brown. Amberly Brown, shot up, no good. Rebound we, by number two, Ryan Tillis. And, Andre, I think I'd really like to see the Devil Lips get into that paint a little more this game. And yeah, for sure. Limit for the sure. perimeter shot so we get a 
steal, but turned over. So Diamond McKnight forced out of bounds on the baseline. Both teams looking to make their first field goal of the night. Dakaya Sanders under the basket, looking to inbound the ball. And we got a chance to talk to Coach Anderson before the game. He said she's extremely fired up for this swag opener. That's a rebound by Gabrielle Bunch. So Diamond McKnight, she's been absolutely killing it despite the Devil Edge record. She's currently averaging 13.3 points per game with four rebounds and she's been one of the long bright spots of the Devil X thus far this season. The transfer came in instantly making a spark for the Devil X. Most definitely. And she is currently ranked number three in steals per game in the SWAC and fifth in scoring and fourth with field goal percentage with 35.8 percentage and seventh in assists. So she's definitely doing it on all phases of the floor. All facets of her game are on display every night. Behind the back, float her up. And Reed nope. try to get up before the horn. They're going to call a no shot clock good. violation on Reed. Both teams off to a kind of slow start. What do you think is the story so far, Caleb? Right now, we just need to settle in. Like I said, I want to see the girls get to the paint. You know, we have a lot of height down there. Lizzie Walker, Amberly Brown, I think they can get some things done down inside. Ooh, with the big screen for Alabama State. And as the Devil Let's force a turnover, got the Alabama State coach fired up over here. And the NVSU women's basketball is taking on one of the most challenging schedules in the country. The team has played national powers and national brands, including multiple number one teams. As I said earlier, the team opened the season at Utah before playing number one LSU after games at McNeese State in contests against Louisiana Monroe and Wisconsin-Milwaukee. The Delta Devils played at number one South Carolina as well. The team also have been on the road at UAB, New Shot Mexico. Good. No good. Rebounded by Lizzie Walker, and she will head to the line for two. For the first time tonight. And early substitution right now for the Hornets is... It's number 20. Cordacia Harris, the 6'1 senior from... Mobile, Alabama, enters the game for the first time tonight. And what do you think they want to do with her if they put her in the game? Like she brings a little more size out there for the Hornets. Well, Caleb, considering you have number 20, Cordacia Harris, right alongside. And oh, Lizzie Walker. Right alongside number 30, Anaja Hall. Mm. They must be looking to attack the paint. Lizzie Walker splits a pair of free throws. Three-point shot up and no good. no good. Long rebound back to the Hornets. And she's going to be. Excuse me, I thought it was going to be a travel call, but. It appears to be a sideline, sideline violation. On Coach Anderson. and The Hornets with the side out. Still looking to get on the board for the first time tonight. The Kia Sanders gets it in. Try to get it down low. Stolen. Lizzie Walker gets it to Shadon McKnight. Fast break. McKnight. McKnight finds Reed. Reed to Walker. Walker back to McKnight. McKnight gets it. Side step. Looking good. Shadon McKnight. And like I said, Andre, Shadon McKnight has been one of the long. Bright spots for this Devil X team. So far, she brings a spark early in the game. Three-point shot up and good by the Hornets. They answer right back. That's number 23, Shamaya. Both teams have a chip on their shoulder right now. As they trade back-to-back -back baskets. Shamaya Carothers out of Tupelo, Mississippi. And Gabriela Bunch. And she missed the first half of the preseason for the Devil X. But Lizzie Walker. Another rebound, Gabrielle Bunch. And Gabrielle Bunch, you know, she missed a lot of the games early in the season. You know, it's just good for the Devil Let's get her back on the floor. She's made an instant impact out there with her playmaking ability. Her defense has been highly anticipated. And her hustle. As you see, she gets the rebound and goes back up and gets the, the foul. So now she'll be at the line shooting two. First shot up and good. Bunch. The senior guard out of Law, Mississippi. 
Both free throws up and good. Hornets transition. Still, and still up. looking for an answer. And nice block by Amberly Brown. Andre it really looks like the zone that the devil is playing is absolutely. Absolutely big shot by the Kia Sanders, the three. And she breaks down the two three zone of the Devil X. Devil X looks to answer Jaleel Reed. Three point shot up and no good. The Kia Hornets Sanders with the rebound. Hornets looking for another shot. Transition three shot up. up no good. No good rebound by the Hornets. That'll be number 15, Ashley Gray. And she's fouled on her shot. So she'll be going to the line to attempt two. I believe that foul is going to be on number one, Sir Diamond McKnight. Hornets looking to take the lead for the first time tonight. They were off to a slow start, but they've made two three-pointers in their last couple possessions. Yes. First free throw up and good. Number 15, Ashley Gray, the sophomore guard out of Washington, Georgia. And, you know, it's, it's kind of good how the, how the schedule worked out for the whole SWAC. Every team tipped off SWAC play today, so everybody is looking to – you know, watch the way those non-conference schedule wins and losses and focus on trying to make a swag run and get an invite to the tournament. And that's going to be an over and back call. Over and back call. The referee. Fans may have said it's questionable call by the ref. May have caught it a little too early. Yeah, might have had his eyes on the wrong line. Thank think, Andre. Yeah. Sure, Caleb. Looks like Devil is gonna jump back into this two-three zone. Same storm five been out here. Shadam McKnight, McKnight. at the hands. McKnight, McKnight with Shadam the. Is not, McKnight has been shining like a diamond so far tonight. Most definitely, it's a diamond shining like a diamond. That's what the sh the should mean shining. And Shadam McKnight heads to the line to potentially get a Devil is. Another lead because they trail by one. And Andre, I would like to see a lot more of that, you know, Devil X turning defense into easy offense, you know. That's definitely what's going to help us end this game with a victory and get back sure, in the win Caleb. column. For sure, Caleb. Both free throws up and good for McKnight. Sanders up the court looking to sell the offense for the Hornets. 23, shot up, no good, miss, rebound by Walker, Lizzie Walker with the rebound, gets it to McKnight, McKnight looks to push the break, finds Bunch, Bunch back, back to McKnight. McKnight. Shot up, but no good. Couple Hornets chasing the rebound. Rebounded by Hornets. Sanders looks to get the offense set up for the Hornets. And as I stated, well, as you stated earlier, Andre, um, the Hornets have had a tough going as well to start off their season. They are 0 and 11 coming into this game. So, what do you expect? How do you feel? You know the the vibe is from the players on both sides. You know, first sweat game. You know, tough non-conference schedule. I feel like both teams just know the records. Basically, zero and zero right now. This is where it starts. This is where it starts right here. Most definitely. And McKnight looks to set up the offense. He finds Reed. Reed looking to set up shop, finds Walker. Walker, Walker with Walker the dribble drive, drive, and Sanders picks her pocket. Sanders loses the ball. Amberly Brown dies for it. That's going to be a jump ball. Both teams hustling. Oh, excuse me. There's going to be a timeout call by the Hornets. I guess they had possession. And with that, we'll be taking our first media timeout as we go through the first six minutes of play. Devil is up 8-7 to seven against the Hornets. Andre, what would you like to see for the Devil is coming out of this break? From our for sure, like to see the Devil X attacking the basket a little more. Stop settling for certain shots. Keep attacking the line because so far, free throws have been a, the answer. Most definitely. Valley Sports Network, we'll be right back after this break. You could say we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. 
Join the V Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then... And Valley Sports Network, we're back. The Hornets had a possession. Looking to get offense going here. Three-point shot, okay, good. The guess it must have heard me. The third three-pointer made for the night for the Hornets. And Andre looks like right now the Devils just need to do a better job of guarding the three-point line. Giving up a lot of open threes. It's yeah, like the Hornets can hit them. You know, as people say, shoot them out the zone. And the Hornets are for sure trying to do that. And Gabby Bunch tried to get to the lane, lose her foot and call with the travel. Hornets patient with the ball. And Walker with active hands almost get the steal. Walker, a name you'll probably hear a lot tonight when it comes to hustling. Rebounding. And the um, Devil X. Team you play tough defense and hustle. We can come out with a victory tonight. The open up swag play. As the Hornets find the center of the zone, miss the shot. And that's a foul by number 33. To Leah Hamilton. She tries to get the ball and just knocks McKnight down to the ground. Well, she sure has the right last name. Hamilton. Is and hard foul. Maybe should have been a little flagrant or something, Caleb. Yeah, I think it could have been flagrant. Hands to the face. Oh. And uh, Alabama State Hornets have five fouls here in this opening period, and the Devilettes are in the bonus. So I definitely think, Andre, that's something that the Devilettes should attack. It seems as though the Hornets play a lot of lazy defense. Down McKnight at the line once again. Perfect once again. Just an efficient score for the Devil X. Just get it done. Every spot on the floor. Corner still looking to attack down low. Emily, ba Emily Brown with the rebound. Jump ball. Position arrow favors the Devil X. And Coach Anderson has had the same five in the whole first quarter. As we just got on the four-minute mark for this opening period. Reed yeah, to the corner, McKnight. Okay, obviously see some she likes out here. McKnight with the dribble McKnight. drive. Floater up, no good. Rebounded by McKnight. McKnight. Loses it. Hamilton. Reed, Reed with the steal. steal. Reed, Reed pushes it. Layup. Tough layup in traffic. Reed. Devilettes take the lead. 12-10. Devilettes lead the Hornets. As we approach a three-minute mark in this first period. Devilettes playing nice, Good defense, defense on Walker. Good defense by Walker. Good defense by Walker. And it's going to be a travel. As I just said, Walker, now you were likely here tonight. As it relates to defense and hustle. Yes, they are definitely playing great, great defense tonight. Shamari Carruthers checking in for Talia Hamilton. Andre, what do you say the story of the game thus far? Uh, Both sides, you know. Well, Caleb, so far, there's been, there's been scoring, but so far, I have to say turnovers. Both teams just have to play a little more patient and just stop forcing the ball in yeah. certain spots. 
As Amberly Brown tries to work her way in, she's fouled on her shot, so she will be headed to the free throw line for two. And with that foul, that'll bring number 20, Cordesia Harris, off the floor. And number 30, Nigel Hall will be checking in, the freshman out of Atlanta. And have number five, Solangele Ockridge. Chicken in for number four to Kaya Sanders. And right now it seems as though the Hornets are getting in a foul trouble. They have to go deep into their bench early. First free throw open. Good. Amberly Brown. Second free throw open. Good. The Devilettes. Have been on fire from the free throw line so far tonight. Most definitely very efficient at the line. As Amberley extends the lead to four. And Amberley, nice active Amberley hands. Brown. Gabrielle Bunch with the full court pass intercepted by number 23, Shamaya. Nice defense transition. Shot open. And Hall, Hall gets the backboard shot. Think she called glass? Maybe, maybe. As Bunch nice gets in to Brown. Brown. Brown with a nice, nice fade. Move. Nice move Amber by Brown. Brown. What should I call her? Amber Embiid. Amber Jokic. Amber Anthony Towns. And right now the Devil S are fired up. Like I said, Andre, man, a tough non-conference schedule. You know, these girls, they're going to play their heart out. And we force another miss. McKnight, she sizes up, pony. No, she finds. Amberly Brown is a blocking foul. Called on the Hornets. Two more shots. Amberly Brown, she's been attacking her basket all night tonight, and she's been pretty efficient. And right now, it just seems as though the Hornets have no answer for Brown down in the paint. Is everybody just fouls every time she touches the ball, Andre. Okay, look. It's going to be a long night tonight, Caleb. Might be a long night tonight if you don't find an answer for Brown. Most definitely. Because Brown is just heating up. McDiamond has been shining like a diamond all night. And Amberlin knocks down the first free throw. Extend the lead to five points. And it appears as though Devil is about to make the first substitution of the game. It's number 13. Yana Dower at the score table, and she's getting Amberly Brown, getting Amberly Brown a rest. Brown is absolutely killing it. Tivolis Dower. New defense. Dower standing at 6'3". The freshman out of Germany. Nice defense by McKnight, and she was I'm going to the elbow, and this is going to call a foul. Face. That foul is going to be on number two, Jaleel Reed. It's going to be a foul on the shot. So Naya Hall will be at the line. Both teams have been taking the basket. Although the Hornets have made more three-pointers tonight. First free throw open, no good. And Amberly Brown is back at the score table alongside number 20, Cordesia Harris. Amberly Brown went to the bench for 30 seconds. And she gets Dower out the game. I believe that was Dower that committed the foul. Tivolitz looking to close this quarter out on fire as they have extended the lead to five. And Gabrielle Bunch looking to find some. Gets to McKnight. McKnight back to Bunch. Bunch with the tough layup misses. Active hands tries to get it back. Nearly gets it back. Hornets. Hornets a transition. 40 seconds left here in this first period. Andre, five-point lead by the Devilettes. Great defense. defense. Lizzie Walker, Lizzie she comes Walker. over and going to be a turnover by Brown as McKnight wasn't ready for the pass. 
Shot up and no good. Gonna be out of bounds. It was last touch by the Hornets. So the Devil X will get one more possession. Hornets seem to be rushing. This period if they play it right. And it appears as the Hornets are rushing and the Devil X have been taking advantage. Devil X take position. 25 seconds left in the first quarter of this ball game. What's been the story so far, Caleb? Defense, hustle, toughness. It's definitely what the Devil X will have on display here in this swag opener at the R.W. Harrison Complex. Six seconds left. McKnight with a tough mid-range shot up and good with a hand in her face. She didn't even see the hand. She didn't even see the hand, Andre. Man, Caleb. Caleb. This diamond shines when it's bright, Caleb. Yes. Diamond McKnight has been on fire so far tonight. At the end of one, we have the Devil X with a seven-point advantage over the Hornets, 20 to 13. Valley Sports Network. I want to thank everybody that tuned in. We'll be right back after this break. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're going to make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can, too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Valley Sports Network, we're back at the end of one, starting the second quarter. Devil is hold a seven-point advantage, 20-13. to 13. Hornets are trailing, looking for answers, as the Devil is are buckling down on defense here early in this game, Andre. They had to get out of this zone, Caleb. The Hornets were, on, were letting loose. Shot up and no good. Rebound by the Hornets. That's going to be a charge. Offensive foul right. called. McKnight just... Has a hand in this game in every way possible. Defensively, offensively, spiritually, mentally. First McKnight looks to get the offense going. Gabby Bunch with a nice pump fake. Euro step move. He's going to have her shot blocked. He's going to say last touch by Gabby Bunch. Hornets will gain the possession. And... Both teams no good on their first positions of the second quarter. Hornets still kind of looking for an answer as the Delta Devils lit up for the second half of the first quarter. And McKnight with nine first quarter points. Amberley Brown follows her with six. And McKnight leads all scores of this game with her nine. McKnight with the active hands. Active hands. Pass, three-point shot up, no good. Rebounded by the Devil X. Bunch with the rebound. Reed goes all the way, misses the layup. Both teams appear to get a little chippy. And as McKnight hits the floor. and It just shows the passion that both teams have for this game right now. And I want, I would like for Bay Knight to kind of keep a hands to herself, man. I don't want to, I don't want a foul total to creep up on her. It appears as if she has two early. Coach had a problem. 
Yeah, I think. But they resolved the situation. Yes, I believe Coach Jackson, Freeman Jackson, wanted a call for maybe possibly a flavor. And there's going to be a. And one opportunity for, for the Hornets as number 15, Ashley Gray gets inside, gets the bucket through the foul, and now she's at the line trying to complete the three-point play, Andre. It fouls on number five, Gabrielle Bunch, who's off to a slow start offensively, but mm. she, she's been rebounding for numbly so far, Caleb. And Gray banks it in. And it's Kerrigan Johnson, a familiar face for the Devilettes. The senior makes her first appearance of tonight's game. The guard, the senior guard out of Atlanta, Georgia. Reed with a couple crossovers. Reed to pay it down to Brown. And Brown with a nice move, just couldn't get it. The goal rebounded by Cardasia Harris. Horn is sitting up offense. That's the devil is that went back to him. Man. And that's a nice, a nice tough layup by Harris. And Harris says she's going to be the answer for Brown tonight, Andre. Okay, look. Something has to happen. She lines a three up. Does it connect? Rebound about a devil is. Reed. Walker. Reed with the pass to Walker. Walker all the way for the one-hand dunk. Walker with the easy two. Devin, let's get on the board for the first time this quarter. A nice left-hand move by number 12, Christian Jackson. Jackson, first point of the, Walker, who of the game. Up, up, no good. And Walker just couldn't get it to go. Good look. Hornets looking to potentially tie the game or take the lead with this position. And Amberly Brown with the nice defense. However, Harris grabs our own rebound and puts it back up, getting two. As the Hornets go on a nice run to get this game all knotted up at 22. Andre, what do you have to say for the Devil X? What has changed? I have to say, Devil X, slow down. Just slow down, keep being patient, keep attacking the basket. Most definitely. Valley Sports Network, we'll be right back after this break. today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt. We're back at Valley Sports Network. We have a tie ball game, 22 to 22, which is once a seven point lead. Devil is looking to get something clicking. As the horn is just, Horn is just nice not going over. away. Like I said, both teams are hungry for their first swag win. Tough non-conference slate for both teams coming in, so tension is high. Expectations are high. Nice pass down low. Nice. 
Layup up and good by number 20, Jalen Douglas. Jayla the freshman Douglas. out of Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, yeah, sir. Jalen Douglas with a nice fake to get the defender in the air. Even better. Touch on the glass to get the easy layup in. And Sanders looks to find her groove. This is the Shamaya Crothers, and she is going to be. Offensive foul. Tax with an offensive foul. Nice defense once again by number three, Lizzie Walker. And Lizzie has just been definitely all over the place. She's been a pissed all night for the Hornets. Inbound to Walker. Kirby Johnson setting up offense for the Devilettes. They're going to call a moving screen on Kerrigan Johnson. Two-point ball game. Devilettes with the advantage. When they started off kind of hot, they slowed down here as they trail by two in the second quarter. And nice move. Nice, tough. Layup by Ashley Gray. She just put a body all over the devil let defender. He's sitting up offense for the devil let's. Nice crowd here today at the RW Harrison Complex, don't you think, Andre? And they're going to be last touched by the devil let's. So the Hornets will gain a possession with a chance to take the advantage here in today's ball game. Four. It'll be their first. Sanders. It'll be their first advantage since leading eight to seven. Sitting up offense for the Hornets. Ashley Gray. Back down to Harris, and Harris is just. Hornets seem to have some type of game plan right now. They throw the ball to the top of the key. To, to the top of the key, they either. Jab and drive, or jab, drive and pass. Yeah, right now the Devil Legends have to stop that entry pass down low. It seems all the Hornets want right now. Get the ball down to Harris and let her work. Entry pass to Lizzie. Lizzie Walker says she's fouled. By number 12, Christian Jackson. Amberly Brown is at the score table looking to make her appearance back in the game as. She comes in for Jayla Douglas. Jayla Douglas back to the bench. Jayla Reed nearly has her pocket picked. Lizzie Walker with the screen. Reed shot the up. Shot. No good. It's going to be an Alabama State possession. That shot didn't have enough on that she get the front rim. And Gabby Bunch. Makes her appearance back into the game for the Devil Lits. As she comes in for Carrying and Johnson. And number 24, Whitney Dunn. Checks back into the game for number 12, Christian Jackson. And right now the Hornets are leading this game. And right now the Devil Lits need to fight to. Get back into the driver's seat as we had as good as a 10-point lead. Well, the turnover by the Hornets. They're giving the Devil X chances. And those are turnovers that the we Devil just X can't have. Right back with a turnover by Brown. And those are turnovers that we absolutely cannot afford. Most definitely. To be successful in this game, Caleb. Turnover on the inbound just limits your percentage of winning. With the inbound down low. And Cordesia Harris gets the friendly roll. And she's had a great impact off the bench. Eight points in this ball game. He's setting up offense for the Devil X. Intra pass to Brown. Brown, who Brown. answers right back. Amberly Embiid. Amberly Davis. She's definitely playing like one of those guys tonight. 
down on that low block. Three point shot by Sanders. Missed. Oh, but no good. Rebounded by the Hornets. They chase the long rebound. Back to Sanders. She's going to set up the offense for the Hornets. And Coach Freeman Jackson on her 26th season. Got a shot up and no good. Rebounded by Brown. Brown who passed the ball to Reed. And she will set up the offense for the Devil Itch. And right now, Devil Itch need to find an answer for Sanders. Excuse me, not Sanders, Harris. Amberly Brown with the nice shot. shot. Too up much no on the good. shot. Or it's a transition. Nice hustle by both teams. There's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow favors the Hornets. Hustle has been a story tonight for both teams. Excuse me. Devil Litz will gain the possession. As the Hornets do a platoon swap. Devil Litz still looking to regain the lead or potentially tie this ball game. Resetting up offense as the Devil Litz are looking to find something. Jalen Reed in that deep corner. Five seconds on the shot clock. Three. Ball nearly two, turned over. One. And that's going to be shot clock violation on the Devil Eggs. As the Hornets defense was a little too suffocating on that possession. Hornets take possession. Hornets with the nice half court set as they ran all night. As we approach Tivolix. Oh, three point shot up and good. Number three, April Hooks, the freshman out of Trustville, Alabama, gets the Hornet lead up to five. As we approach a minute and 30 seconds to play in this first half, the Hornets have. They're down to Brown. Left open, no good. That Hornets have outscored the Devil Lips by 12 this quarter. And the Devil Lips need to find an answer. For sure, Kayla, for this final minute, Devil Lips need to close out on shots, and get out of transition, limit offensive rebounds for the Hornets, and they can have success. Shot missed, rebounded by Harris, and she puts it up and misses again. The Devil X get an offensive position. Gabby Bunch with to set up the offense for the Devil X. Let's pay back down a bunch. With a nice turnaround nice. shot. Bunch with a nice turnaround jumper. Bunch will make her first field goal of the night to get the lead down to three. One position game by the Hornets. I don't know if they will hold the ball. Where they'll settle for an easy shot. Nice defense. There's going to be a foul on number 22, Aaliyah Durham. Otherwise. The freshman out of Griffin, Georgia. Hornets lead by three as they head to the line. Kayla, what, what do you think has been the story of this second quarter by the Hornets? That they've had, that they've had an... Nice second quarter. Points in the paint. Um, points in the paint most definitely. Um, that was a difference. We need to get more points in the paint like we did in the first quarter and limit points in the paint. So PIP on both sides. Number 24. When he done at the line. 
First free throw up, no good. And she tries to extend this game to a two position lead. And right now the Devil X still are in great position to end this first half on a high note. And she misses both free throws. Both free throws. Oops, Rebound no about good. Walker. Rebound about Walker. And we Reed have a chance with the, here. With the dish out to McKnight. We need to hold it for the last shot, McKnight I would think. With the pass to Reed, who misses the lay but gets it back. This is again. And that's going to be the end of the first half as the Alabama State Hornets hold a three-point advantage over the Devil Lets after the first 20 minutes of play. Andre, what do you have to say for the Devil Lets going into this second half? How do you think they need to come back out to make this game competitive? Well, I think Coach needs to tell them in a the locker room to just box out, put your butt on someone, stop allowing offensive rebounds, and slow down with the ball and limit turnovers and the Devil X could come out successful. Most definitely. Good first half by Devil X. Need a better second half so we can come out this first swag opener. Valley Sports Network, we'll be right back after this break. Bank offers personal loan solutions or setting new business goals. Our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MVSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're going to make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Today, join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. 
You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's nvsuvclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At NBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's mvsuvclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At NBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you?
From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we are ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MVSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us on We're back with the second half of this ball game. Hornets still with a three-point lead. First shot up, no good. Rebounded by the Hornets. Done with a nice crossover. She drives to the goal with a nice and one play. And that's going to be a foul on Lizzie Walker early in this Second half, number 24, Whitney Dunn converting the layup through traffic, through the foul, and will be at the line trying to complete the and one play. Devil X currently hold a, excuse me, the Hornets currently hold a five point advantage over the Devil X. Free throw open, no good for Dunn. And Dunn can complete the three point play. Devilets. Jaleel Reed looking to get something Nearly started. Nearly loses it. Made night to Reed and Reed looking for some dribble drive kick out to Gabby Bunch. Gabby Bunch Gabby with three Bunch point three. shot. Open no Rims good. out. Rebound by the Hornets. Hornets in transition. And they rebound by number twenty, Cordacia Harris. And Sounders setting up offense for the Hornets. And Andre, what do you think the Devil is need to do to increase their chances of winning as we get into the latter stages of this game? As I said, Caleb, they need to limit offensive rebounding and turnovers. Because it appears as the Hornets are going back into their same offense. They run the same play, same scheme, so the Devilettes have to adjust this half. Most definitely, and Amberly Brown goes to the bench early for Jayla Douglas. Number 24 back at the line once again, Whitney Dunn. First free throw open, good. And Second free throw up and good for Dunn. As she was good. perfect this time from the line. Hornets opened up a seven point advantage to start off this second half. Hornets appear to be in a full court trap. McKnight. McKnight with a nice jelly layup. And an answer for a couple more of those, and the Hornets will for sure be changing up their defense. Five point deficit for the Devil X. Nice entry pass down to Harrison. As I mentioned before, the first half ended. Andre, we have to stop Cordasia Harris. Cordasia Harris, she's been on rebounding and scoring. Menace. Hornets with the rebound there in transition. Pull up Jay up no good by Sanders. Rebound by the Hornets. That'll be number two. Ryan Tillis. As I've said, so far the story of this game have been rebounding. Not just rebounding, but offensive rebounding for the Hornets and second chance points. Devilish transition. Gabriel. Three on one. Layup Tough layup. No good. Missed. But rebounded by the Devilettes. Missed again. Rebounded by the Devilettes. Missed again. Rebounded by the Hornets. And the Hornets will gain a possession. As they look to extend their lead. 
They hold a seven-point advantage right now with the Devil Lits. So we approach seven minutes to play in the third quarter of the women's game. Valley Sports Network, the men will follow. Hornets once again. Back to Whitney Dunn. Back again to Whitney Dunn. So far, the Hornets have been force feeding Whitney Dunn, and she's been consistently getting to the line as she will shoot another pair of free throws. Yes, this is Whitney Dunn's fifth, third this quarter. It's her third time at the line this quarter. And with that foul, that will lead us into a Valley Sports Network timeout, and we'll see you guys shortly. MVSUNAA.org, 5,000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MVSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? And Valley Sports Network, we are back. Shout out, shout out, Dr. Vaughn, over at the Hyper Complex. The Hornets with a seven-point advantage. Dunn back at the line, connects with the first free throw. Stands the lead up to eight. Gets her point total to five. And she's one for seven from the field, but Andre just been getting it done at the line of the free throw line, man. Just Facts, Caleb. Free throws are very important. Devilet still looking to answer. Gabrielle Bunch, turnover, Hornets in transition. Shadam McKnight with a nice defense. And they're going to call a jump ball. Position arrow favors the Devilettes. Devilettes with the side out. Shadam McKnight looks to get the offense going for the Devilettes as Sadie Williams makes her first appearance in tonight's ball game. Jubilee's off to a slow start this quarter. Let's see if Shayla Reed can be the answer for the drought. Nice layup. And Carisha Douglas. Jayla Douglas. Douglas gets her first. Second field goal tonight's game. Gets her points all up to four. Seven-point advantage for the Hornets. Just got it up to nine with that made layup. Hornets Ashley Gray. Foot on the gas. Ashley Gray gets her point total to 11. And she leads all scores, excuse me, tied with all scores with Shadon McKnight of the Devil X. She has 11 as well. And miscommunication between Walker and Bunch, costly turnover. Another turnover by the Devilettes. They've been off to a slow start this quarter. Four points to the Hornets, 11. Oh, 
everyone is looking to set up their offense. Nice defense by McKnight. Another second chance. Book it by the Hornets. They extend their lead to double digits for the first time tonight. Devlet still looking for an answer. And it might be the answer. Layup up with no good. McKnight. And Hornets. After a slow first quarter for the Hornets, they have been in the driver's seat the majority of this game. They look to build their leads to a double digit. Nice defense and by Walker. Blocked by Walker. Walker in transition. And that's going to be a foul on the Hornets. Number 24, Dunn. Whitney Dunn picks up the foul. The sophomore of Chicago, Illinois. And with that foul, there'll be a media timeout. Andre, what do you want to see from the Devil X for the rest of the game? I want to see the Devil X put their behinds on someone, Caleb. Box out. The Hornets have got too many second chance points, offensive rebounds. Most definitely. And that has been the story of this game. Battle Sports Network, we'll be right back after this break. From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're going to make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Come back from that break. Lizzie Walker be at the line shooting two. Quiet night for Walker. Three points, excuse me, four with that made free throw. This will be her second time at the line tonight. She's made two out of three attempts. Split those free throws. The Hornets take position. They hold a 10-point lead in this ball game. Hornets resetting their offense. Sanders gets it to the corner. They're going to call a foul on Walker. Defended by number three, Lisa Walker, who's been a pissed all night, but she was called for the foul this time. And the Hornets making substitutions as Justina Graham. And Ryan Tillis. Graham, the junior out of Long Beach, California. Hornets with the kind of shaky inbound and the devil is. And the Hornets fight for the ball. And the Hornets will keep possession. Three minutes and 40 seconds to go in this third period. Devil X trailing by 10. The run needs to come now. Devil X looking for an answer still. They trail by double digits late here in the third quarter. 
And the crowd, see this is, this is number four, Miss Sanders threw an elbow. And McKnight, McKnight definitely didn't like that. Let's see if that gets her fired up. Nice move. Spin layup up and no good. Justina Graham got everything but the make. And the Devil Litz gained the possession and looked to chip away at this deficit. McKnight at the top. Pass to the wing. Pass down low to number three, Lizzie Walker. Shot up and no good. And they're going to be an offensive foul on number 22, Aaliyah Durham. Offensive foul. And when they're done, be coming in. Excuse me. She'll be coming in after this free throw shot. As the Devil Let's have came out and not been so great on defensive end as we've racked up a lot of fouls here in this third quarter. You can see the Hornets are in the bonus. And we'll be shooting free throws for the rest of this period. Hornets came out kind of finishing off where they left in the first half. But they extend this lead to 11 points. And the devil is just need to find an answer right now. And she knocked down both free throws. And Whitney Dunn comes in for Christina Jackson. Excuse me, Christian Jackson. Inbound Devil S. Devil S. Walk with the pass to McKnight. McKnight with the pass. Down McKnight with Douglas. the pass in to Douglas. Douglas fouled on her layup attempt. And she'll be going to the line when she'll be shooting too. Number two, Ryan Douglas will be at the line for the first time tonight. It's Corey Deja Harris makes her way to the score good. table. Second free throw up, but no good. Three. Three. Hornets sitting up offense. Wild of a shot. Nice. Up and good. By number three for the Hornets, April Hooks. And that gets the lead up to 14 points. Layup up, but no good by McKnight. Rebounded by the Devil X. That will lead to a jump ball. Devil X will retain position. <laughs> Gabriel Brunch checking in for the Delta Devils. The Devil X. For number zero, Sadie Williams. Gabby Bunch tries to inbound it. Tilt by the Hornets. Position stays with the Devil Litz. Not going to be a backcourt violation. This is miscommunication, yeah, between Walker and McKnight. Well, excuse me. After the ref Here's, talked about it. The Devil X will keep position. And right now we're just trying to chip way back into this game. McKnight with a nice three-point shot up, no good. And they're going to the call Devil a Lace foul on the Hornets. Position. This foul be on the floor. Number 24, Whitney Dunn, picks up her third personal. That's something definitely keep an eye out on. Devil is McKnight. Nice pass down low. Lead to another jump ball, and the Hornets will take position. Kayla with one, one minute and 55 seconds remaining in this third quarter. What do you think 
the Devilettes need to do in this fourth quarter if they want to come out victorious? The Devilettes want to come out victorious, like you've been saying all game. Put their behind on someone, box out. Go back to that hustle that we've seen in the first quarter. And we'll come out with a victory. But as we're getting into the final period of this game, we're running out of time. So we need an answer now. Three-point shot up and missed by the Hornets. Last touch by the Hornets. So the Devilettes will gain the possession. Number 15, Ashley Gray checking in for number 24, Whitney Dunn. Gabby Bunch finds McKnight. McKnight looking to get something going for the Devil Lips. Gabby Bunch with a nice layup. Bunch up and nice good. Layup. Bunch with a nice reverse layup. <laughs> If we get below the 60 second mark of this third quarter, let's see how the Hornets. with a nice defense. Shot missed by the Hornets, rebounded by Walker. Walker to Durham. Durham pushes all the way. Durham fouled on her shot, and she would be attempting to. Could this lead to 10 points? Foul on number three, April Hooks. Foul on number three, April Hooks. We have number 23, Shamaya Carruthers checking in for number 11, Christian Jackson. Correction, number 11, Justina Graham. Number 12, Christian Jackson checking in. First free throw open, no good. This was the story of the first quarter by the Devilettes. Most definitely. Andre, what do you want to see from the Devilettes as we enter this fourth quarter? As I said, all game, came, I want the Devilettes to slow down, keep attacking the basket, and just simply box out. Keep hustling. They have the hustle. I just want them to box out and stop allowing so many offensive rebounds and second chance points. Most definitely is the devil is supposed to turn over right there. Already. And Lizzie Walker gonna get it out to McKnight. And McKnight's gonna slow it down. Ten seconds remaining in this third quarter. Of basketball. Nice move by Durham. No up good. and missed. 11-point lead by your Alabama State Hornets. Kayla, what do you think the Devil Lakes need to do in this fourth quarter if they want to come out with a win? Andre, we want to come out with a win. We need to come out in this fourth quarter. We need to play defense. We need to score the ball. We need to be aggressive. We need to grab some boards. We just need to do whatever it takes. Let's work the inside game. Let's get it back to Amberly Brown. Let's get some, let's get some defensive breakdowns so we can get some three-point shots on the outside, man. Valley Sports Network. We'll be right back after this break.
we're back the last quarter of this ball game for the Devlets. That's gonna be a foul on number 23. Shamaya Cockerus, that'd be her second. Correction, Carruthers. McKnight got a little too much mustard on that one. Saved by Gabby Bunch to Durham. Durham to Walker. And that's going to be a shot clock reset. Going to come over to the score table. Had a problem with the clock. Double is looking to reset this position and put his lead to single digits. Night with a nice drive. A foul. Couldn't get it to go. Night to the line. She's five for six on the night. Let's see if McKnight can put this lead to single digits. First to throw open, no good. Night. Second free throw over, no good. Rebounded by Walker. Walker with the two. Walker with the follow away jumper, missed. Rebounded by the Hornets, winning it done. Gets it back to Sanders' hands. Sanders sets up the offense for the Hornets. Sanders defended by Bunch. And Dunn absolutely working. Durham and Dunn gets the tough layup to go. Dunn seems like she's trying to get it done. 13 point lead by the Horn for the Hornets. And Jayla Douglas is going to be fouled on her shot attempt. And she will be going to the line to attempt two. Jayla Reed checking in for Shadabu tonight. We have Anaja Hall checking in for the Hornets. She'll be getting number 20, Cordasia Harris. We throw up for no good. About Douglas. Second free throw, but for no good. Thirteen point advantage for the Hornets. Devil Lips with the trap. We're gonna call a kick on the on the Devil Lips. Have number twenty one, Emily Brown checking in for Jayla Douglas. Yeah. Jayla Douglas giving the Devil Lips some quality minutes off the bench. Excuse me. Andre looks like they want to get Durham out the game. Durham will be the one to take a seat. As Douglas, Brown, and Walker are both on the floor. Um, a lengthy lineup right now for the Devil X. For sure, Caleb. Let's see how the Devil X will answer for these final eight minutes and 40 seconds. And good defense by Walker. Travel. Got off the ground. And that's going to be a travel call. I don't on know the Hornets. Durham's trying to walk back to the locker room or what? But oh, is she trying to walk back to Montgomery? She was almost there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gabby Bunch is looking to set the offense up for the double list. Nice entry pass to Douglas. Douglas doesn't know what she wants. Gets it back out to Walker. Walker dribble drive back to Bunch. Bunch, Bunch with a three-point three shot. Oh, no, no good. good. Rebounded by the Hornets. 15. Ashley Gray with that rebound. Gets it to Sanders. Sanders to Dunn. Hornets. And Dunn's going to duck her head. Chris. They're going to call an offensive foul on that one. And she just tried to power her way through. 
I believe she thought she was running back. Not a point guard right there. I think she unlocked her inner Russell Westbrook with the aggressiveness. Unlocked her inner Rashard Lewis. Powerful. And with that foul, she'll be having a seat. Coach Jackson wanted to talk about it. And the Devil Lips make some subs of their own as McKnight comes in for a walker. So our two guard tandem right now of McKnight and Reed. Bunch. Amberly Brown and Jayla Douglas make up the front court. Devil Lips still looking to cut the lead to. Single digits and they trail by 13. Nice entry pass to Brown. Brown is fouled on her shot attempt. Devil is at the line once again, but the Devil is have to capitalize on their free throws if they look to cut this lead any shorter. And Amber Brown knocks it down. Second free throw over, no good. Hornets take position. Still by McKnight. No lead to another foul on number 20. Cordacia Harris. Seven minutes and 29 seconds to go in tonight's ball game. The Hornets have, have a 12-point advantage over the Devil Lids right now. Check out the game. And the Devil Lids are looking to make a run. Andres, as we get into the final minutes of this game, what do you think the Devil Lips need to do to cut into this deficit and take a lead? Well, the Devil Lips are getting to the line. They have to capitalize on their free throws. Three-point shot up and no good by Reed. Rebounded by Brown. Brown to Douglas. Douglas with a nice layup. They have to capitalize on their free throws. Capitalize on their free throws and make a couple more layups. I'm not going to say she traveled. Tip on lead by the Hornets. We're about 15 miles east of Greenwood, and I believe she made it all the way with that travel. Devil is looking to cut this lead to single digits. If they trail by 10, seven minutes left in this ball game. Knife the ball on the way back to Douglas, back to Reed. Must have passed down low to Brown working. Brown left open, no good. Rebounded by and Brown. It's blocked by the Hornets. It's going to go out of bounds. Um, Had a shot clock, but like they're going to let them play. And they're going to be a turnover by the, Hornets. turnover by the Hornets. Ball doesn't lie. Devilists are getting opportunity, but they have to capitalize on their opportunities. I agree, Andre. We resetting the offense. Night with the ball. Back to Reed. Oh. Reed. Reed. Good. Reed. 
Money from downtown. Reed from the corner. Seven point advantage for the Hornets. Tivolis might have the spark that they need to get back in the city's ball game. Nice defense by Brown. Nice like hands by McKnight. McKnight. McKnight all the way. Back to McKnight. And, and one! Sadavid so McKnight. Sadavid so McKnight unlocking her inner Anthony Edwards. Unlocking her inner De'Aaron Fox. And she goes coast to coast and gets the tough layup through traffic with the bucket. And now she'll be at the line to complete the and one play. When defense leads to offense. When defense leads to offense, Caleb. Devilis have cut this lead to five points with five minutes remaining in this ball game. Caleb. I'm fired up, man. Both teams are looking to get their first swag win. The Hornets hold a five-point advantage as we approach five minutes to go in this fourth period. Valley Sports Network, we'll be right back. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. And Valley Sports Network, we're back. The final five minutes of this swag doubleheader. The Devil Lids are trailing by five points. And McKnight was at the free throw line looking to convert her and one play to cut the Davidson down to four. And they're going to call a foul on Dunn. And the Devil Lids will gain a reward from their missed free throw shot as we gain another possession. With a chance to chip away even more into this deficit. Sit down, McKnight at the line again. First three throw looking good. Pair made by McKnight. As McKnight cuts this lead to one position. And the Hornets make subs as Tillis takes a seat. And the Devil is looking to get a full court pressure. Full court press. Nearly turned over by the Hornets. But Dunn was able to get the pass to Sanders. Travel. 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 As I said once before, Devil H may have had the spark that they needed. Most definitely, Andre. As the Devil H looked like the team that we saw in the opening four minutes of the first quarter. Opening sure. 10 minutes of the game. For sure, Caleb. Nice tough move by McKnight. McKnight wants a foul, doesn't get it. Rebounded by 
Cordesia Harris. Harris picks up her 10th rebound. The game done with a nice shot from the elbow. Knight, Knight knocks it down. Knight with the force layup through traffic. I don't know if she tripped or not. Gonna say his last touch by the Hornets. Five point ball game. Keep possession. Five point ball game. Hornets with the Best advantage. The corner. Shot up and no good. Rebound by the Devilettes. They're gonna call a jump ball. The possession arrow favors the Hornets. And Andre, I know the jump ball call, but. I don't even think he gave him enough time to actually tie it up before he called a jump ball. Yeah, Caleb. It appears that it may have been a, a foul first as she ran into it so fast. A nice defense by the Double X. The Hornets look to find an opening, can't find one. And read out on Dunn on the perimeter. She's trapping everything. They're going to call a foul on number two, Jaleel Reed. Going to say she's reaching. Foul on number two, Jaleel Reed. Second personal, first team. They're going to be a turnover. turnover. Another Hornets turnover. The turnovers are absolutely racking up for the Hornets. They have 20 on tonight. And the Devil is only have 11. We're winning the turnover margin. We just need to capitalize on the. In a rebounding aspect. As most definitely. Allowed, the Devil is have allowed too many offensive rebounds. Emily Brown find Reed. Reed looking for a shot. McKnight, McKnight three point McKnight shot. Oh, no good. Shot, Rebounded. No good. By Ashley Gray. And nice entry pass as the Hornets had a mismatch. They had Harris down on McKnight. Harris able to get the easy layup. Coach likely called timeout due to the ladies. The defense by the Devilettes is they trail by seven. Three minutes left in this ball game. And with that timeout, we'll be right back here at Valley Sports Network. At NBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family. Buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're going to make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Valley Sports Network, Mississippi Valley State. Devil Litz trail by seven, three minutes left in this ball game. And they had cut that lead all the way down to three. Three with a nice layup through traffic. Five point ball game. Going to be a timeout call by the Hornets. 30 second timeout, so we won't take a break. Um, Andre, how do you feel about this game thus far? And we approached the last 
two minutes and 30 seconds. Um, Caleb, as we approach the end of this ball game, if the Divilets want to win, just simply keep attacking the rack, capitalize on free throws, and just keep getting stops. The Hornets have got turnover after turnover to give you a chance. You just have to capitalize. Most definitely. And right now, the Hornets are leading by five. Shooting 43% from the field, and we're shooting 27%. Andre, we have to get that percentage up, man. Shooting 7% from the three-point line to give ourselves a chance here. And Sounders brings it into the front court for the Hornets. So pass to Dunn. Dunn. Dunn finds pass down low. to Harris. Nice brown by nice defense by Brown. Harris grabs her own rebound, grabs another rebound, puts it up and good. And Andre Wayne's looking at the all night. Caleb. Harris, 12 rebounds, 16 points, man. She's absolutely killing it. For sure, Caleb. And nice layup by Lizzie Walker. Two minutes to go. Five minutes. Five possession over. game. Excuse me. Five possession. Five point game. Minute and 50 to go in this ball game. Hornets looking a little shaky. What's the pass to Dunn? Sanders resetting the offense. Come on up, At the logo. And that's going to be a foul call on Dunn. Rebound about Walker. And Derrick get her rebound total up to nine. She will head to the line tonight for the second time. And the double is are looking to cut this deficit down. A minute and 26 seconds to go. We're running out of time. We're in the bonus, so we need to capitalize on these free throw attempts. Don't you think, Andre? For sure, Caleb. First free throw, up and good. Devilets need to cut this game, cut this game to one position. Most it's definitely. One minute, twenty six seconds. But hey, Lizzie Walker splits, happens. splits the free throw. Sanders running the offense once again. Fine, Tillis. Tillis back to Sanders. Sanders back to Tillis. Tillis with a nice one-two. And she's fouled on her layup attempt. She'll be going to the line and trying to earn it. Hornets heading to the line. Again, Ryan Tillis. That, her first free throw of the night would be no good. Second free throw open, good. Minute to go, five point game. Devil is trailing. Shadon McKnight, tough layup attempt, cuts it down to a three point game. 50 seconds to go. Devil is in a full court pressure, looking to force a turnover. Sanders gets into the front court, working on bunch to Tillis. Tillis finds Harris, tip. Devil Let's get a block. Lizzie Walker, Walker. rebounded by the Devil Let's. Up to Gabby Bunch. The bunch. The bunch with him. Possibly turnover, which was not her fault. And I think we need to replay that one. And the, and the crowd and the fans are letting the, the refs hear it. The, the crowd is, the crowd yeah. here at the RW Harrison Complex is absolutely in the game. And letting the refs know how they feel about that call. Divilets 
Need to stop. And it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a foul call on number two. Reed, um, I'm not sure who she touched, but the referee saw something. Casper might have stuck his hand out and touched him. And someone. they will be setting the shot clock to 20. Putting the shot clock to 20, game clock 23, as we're in the final seconds. There will be a turnover. And that'll be a turnover by the Hornets. By the Hornets. Devil X will take possession with 19 Andre, seconds remaining in this 19 ball game. 19 seconds to go in this ball the, game. What do the Devil X do right here, Caleb? We inbound from the side. We set an off-ball screen for McKnight. McKnight pumps fake, gets him in the air. Three-point shot up and good. Foul, though. Four-point play, now we win the game. That's how I picture it happening right here. Nice nice scenario, Caleb. Nice scenario, Caleb. Right now, we need to drop a great play, get a shooter open, tie this ball game up. Well, Caleb, what I can say is we could potentially tie the game, but at the same time, take what's open. As we have 19 seconds, you, wanna, you don't want to rush anything. Most you definitely. Know? We can take a layup and then play the foul game. You don't want to risk anything. Get an easy two if possible. Try to get a quick stop. If not, send them to the line. Nineteen point seven seconds to go in this ball game. Three point deficit for the Devil Legends. The Hornets are leading 57-54 here. Happy New Year, Valley Sports Network, RW Harrison Complex, where greatness happens. Gabby Bunch to Walker. Walker, Walker to, looking Walker for something. To Brown. The Brown, Brown, Brown McKnight. McKnight. The Nine. diamond. It's been shining. Reed. Reed. Shot up, but no good. Rebound about Walker. Walker. Damn. And that's going to be. Damn. Jam, jam, another jam. We're jammed up over here on the sideline. We, the ref just crossed all the way into our side of the court. Should have been technical free throws awarded. Shot up and no good. It's the Hornets who get their first win. And Valley Sports Network of the season. Valley Sports Network, the Alabama State Hornets came into this game 0-11, pick up their first win of the season, first conference win of the season. The Devil X will fall to 1-13, 0-1 in the swag. Andre, we have another game Monday against the Alabama and them Bulldogs. For sure, Caleb Devil X, don't hold your head down. This is one game. This is where it all starts, this game one. Have a lot more. It's just one game. I'd like to thank everybody that's tuning in. Valley Sports Network, the best sports network in the nation. Happy New Year's, everybody. And we'll be right back. And we tip off the boys game. Alabama State Horn versus the Delta Devils. Let's do it. Valley Sports Network, we'll be right back.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MVSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's mvsuvclub.com.
everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At NBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At NBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's mvsuvclub.com.
everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At NBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At NBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MVSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's mvsuvclub.com.
everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At NBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MVSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope.
We ready. Say what? Say what? We ready. Say what? Say what? We ready. Say what? Say what? For y'all. I know your ass a complex. Valley Sports Network. We're back. That's what that was me tipping off against the Alabama State Hornets. Tipping off sweat conference play as the Delta Devils coming to this game. Oh, and 13. And the Alabama State Hornets are looking to pick up their first SWAC win. They're 5-8 overall. Both teams 0-0 in the SWAC. And the Delta Devils get the tip. Alabama State Hornets looking to end their three-game road losing streak. And the starters for the Delta Devils here are Raekwon Brown, Donovan Sanders, Danny Washington, Walter Hamilton, Enrico Gibson. He started for the Hornets with number three, C.J. Hines. Number 11, Micah Octave. Number 20, T.J. Medlock. Number 24, Isaiah Ranger. Number 35, Ubong Okon. 7-1 sophomore center out of Nigeria. And Matlock, the, the son of the coach, Tony Matlock, him and Isaiah Rands are both closing in on 1,000 career points after starting out their careers at other institutions. Hornets might have a better record, but this will not be a walk in the park as the Hornets have not won away from home. Tough layup missed by the Hornets, rebounded by the Delta Devils, and Donovan Sanders looks to get the offense going. Both teams scoreless here in this first minute. He found Raekwon Brown, Raekwon Brown off the turnaround jumper, missed. Hornets gained the possession. Isaiah Range, Isaiah Range back up top to CJ Hines, Hines to Makai Octave. Octave to Matlock. Matlock up and good. TJ Matlock, the son of head coach Tony Matlock. And TJ Matlock is on the absolute tear. This deal was looking to get on the board for the first time. Three point shot up and good. Number 10, Danny Washington. And, uh, Rare three-point shot attempt from Danny Washington as he's a guy who likes to get it in the paint, get it to the goal. Good to see him putting up shots early in this ball game. Nice cross-court pass. Gets the defender in the air. Octave, three-point shot missed. But no good. Rebounded by pick number 35. Another offensive Ocon. rebound. And there's going to be an and one opportunity for Octave. An offensive foul, but it led to an offensive bucket for the Hornets. It's yes, Octave heads to the line for the first time tonight. And free throw open, no good. Rebounded by number two, Rico Gibson. Andre, what do you think the keys to success will be for the Delta Devils here? They want to pick up a victory here at home and kick off this swag season. Um, Caleb, what I can say is maybe limit turnovers and get more points in the paint instead of settling for shots. And as I said earlier in the broadcast, how the girls played a tough non-conference schedule, the boys have had it even harder as they open up their season against LSU, Oklahoma, Connecticut, who was number five in the country at the time, went on the road to December the 11th and played at number seven, Gonzaga, and finished up the non-conference journey against San Francisco last weekend. Expectations are high for this Delta Delta team. New look teams, they look to come in and shake up things here in the SWAT this season. Andre? Okay, look. Delta Devils. Just have to keep being patient because the Hornets are slow with their offense. Ocon. Ocon with a nice layup. 
Early four point lead for the Hornets. Guilty Devil still looking to get clicking. Rico Gilson looking to find something. Finds Donovan Sanders. Sanders. Donovan Sanders with the pass to the wing. The dump down low back to Gibson. Gibson working. Gibson, Gibson shooting. Gibson doesn't connect. Rebounded by Hornets. CJ Hines. Hornets in transition. As he finds Matlock. Matlock doesn't like the shot. Matlock's pass to the corner. Shot up and no good, but once again, rebounded by the Hornets. Isaiah Range able to put a three-point shot up and gain his own rebound. Matlock. Matlock with the shot, shot. up and no good. Rico Gibson setting up the offense for the Delta Devils. Danny Washington resetting the offense. Let's look for Sanders. Send the shot up. Oh, no good. Gonna be a Hornets possession. And with that stoppage, that'll be our first media time out here. The Valley Sports Network as the Hornets opened up an early four-point lead here at the RW Harrison Complex. Andre, what do we need to see for the Delta Devils going forward? Simple, Caleb. Slow down. Put the ball in the basket. Still early. No need to rush. Just keep being patient and get some stops. Valley Sports Network, we'll be right back after this break. today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org 5000 active alumni by 2025. Valley Sports Network, we're back after our first media timeout. Delta Devils trailing by four in the open four minutes of this ball game. It's going to be a turnover by the Hornets. Raekwon Brown all the way. Raekwon Brown with a nice, easy. Count him up, count him up, count him up, and one and opportunity. One opportunity by Mr. Brown. And a guy who plays above the rim. And, you know, Andre Raekwon, he flirted with the transfer portal. But he ended up coming back home. He said he wanted to bring a sweat championship to the Valley. Caleb, okay, the way he's been playing, he sure, he sure means it. Most definitely. And he an doesn't convert good. his end one opportunity. Turned over by, by the, the Hornets. Hornets. Danny Washington with the hustle. And so for the Hornets is range. Go take the seat. Isaiah Range takes a seat. Bring in number five, Kendall Parker. The sophomore out of Montgomery, Alabama. And the trap by the It looked like the Hornets Delta having Devils. trouble with this trap. And the Delta Devils are putting on them. That's a man lock on the wing. And another big dish down low. And they're going to be a travel call on Big Okun. As he didn't even put the ball down. He just, I think he was trying to go back to the bus. I think because he caught a pass, I think he ran a touchdown instead of a layup. Oh, trying to get a layup. Danny Washington bringing it to the front court. Looks to set up the offense for the Delta Devils. Hornets bringing a trap. Forced a turnover. The Delta Devils get it back. Raekwon Brown finds Danny Washington. Washington skip pass to Minton. Minton. Hey, 
That'll be a reset of the shot clock. 25 seconds. Possession. Watch with the ball. Delta Devils. This to Raekwon Brown, who the pass to number 24, Ernest Minton, back to Brown. And Ivory with the, with the turnover. There's going to be a foul called on the Delta Devils. Then they're going to charge 14, George Ivory the third. The son of head coach George Ivory. Just a notable fact that both head coaches have their have their children playing for them right Most now. Definitely. That's a pass to Octave. Octavia with the pass down low to the big guy. Ball inbound by the Hornets. Up top to Hines. Hines. Tries to force his way inside. Going to be a blocking foul called on number 14, George Ivory. Third, that'll be his second foul in 30 seconds. Have number two, Enrico Gibson checking in for George Ivory, the third. Let's see, let's see is this second personal foul of the first half. Two-point ball game. Inbound Alabama to Hines. Move, Move. Alabama Hines. State with the advantage. Nice defense, Raekwon Brown. Shot up and good by number 25 for the Hornets. Just Steven Walker, the freshman, red shirt freshman out of Oakland, Tennessee. And a little miscommunication by the Delta Devils. Enrico Gissel was trying to hit. Raekwon Brown, Raekwon Brown had other plans in mind, and Alabama State will gain the possession. Slow game so far for both teams. Four point lead for the Hornets. Hands the pass to Medlock. Medlock. Medlock, tough jumper. This shot be up and no good. Rebounded by. Raekwon Brown. Brown setting up the offense for the Delta Devils. And Ernest Minton gets it to Raekwon Brown. Raekwon Brown Raquan looking Brown to find something. down to Gibson. Another pass down to Hamilton. Hamilton. Hamilton misses Hamilton the rebound. Back for another offensive rebound for the Delta Devils. Watch the reset in the offense. And then the Washington Washington the Minton. to Minton. Minton with a three-point shot. Here's up and shot. good. Up and good. Ernest Minton, number 24, the senior out of Indianola, Mississippi. Nice three-point shot. Nice layup, up and good by just Stephen Walker. He used all six feet and ten inches for that one. Delta Devils looking to score again. They're going Brown with the pass to Washington, who shoots the shot up and no good, but nice hustle by Ernest Minton. But the Hornets have game position, and that will lead to a, a nice, tough layup by number five, Kendall Parker, the 6'4 sophomore guard out of Montgomery, Alabama. And the Hornets on a little run of their own.
They get that lead up to five. Rico, Rico Gibson. Gibson calls for the screen. Ernest Manson comes up, sets it. Try to work his way inside. So Shot up, no, no good. good by Gibson. Rebound by the Hornets. That'll be number five. Kendall Parker on that one. As he finds just Steven Walker who tests his range. Shot up, no good. Rebounded by Ernest Minton. And the guy who now we've heard so far early in this game. And Danny Washington brings to the front court, set the offense. Rico Gibson over there on that short elbow. Dribble drive, get it poked away. Hines, Hines, Hines in transition. Him. All the way, blocked out the glass by Raekwon Brown, blocked out the glass by Minton. Octave with the rebound, up, oh, missed, rebounded by the Delta Devils. Gonna be last touched by the Hornets. Delta the Hornets. Devils gained a possession. All the Hornets came in uniforms. I don't think they know they came to a block party today. Most definitely. Five point advantage for the Hornets. Delta Devil trailing by five. Big shout out to V Club. Big shout out Valley Sports Network. Valley Sports Network. We'll be right back. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MVSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? Well, we're back at Valley Sports Network. The Delta Dill was trailing by five. With Ten minutes remaining in his first half of play. Horn is looking to be pressing the Delta Devils. Eric passed by Rico Gibson as he, he tried to hit. See that Ume, the freshman out of Highland, Texas. A little miscommunication there between the two. As Ume, Reginald Reynolds, and Darius Clark make their first appearance in tonight's ball game. Sean Smith controlling the offense right now for the Hornets. Sean Smith, up, no nice good. Up, no good. Rebounded by Gibson. Gibson looking to get the offense going for the Delta Devils. Danny Washington running the offense right now for the Delta Devils. Having them 13. Darius Clark. Reginald Reynolds working. Number 22, Reginald Morgan checking in. And Reginald Reynolds with a nice hook shot up and good. The impact. Nice defense by Ume. Gives the Devils a transition. Ume. Slow the position down. To reset the offense. Clark with the ball. Get the dish down low to Reynolds. Reynolds. Reynolds working. Reynolds find Gibson. Nearly turned over. Gibson maintains. Gibson with the Not think layup. Just Steven Walker got a piece of that one. Parker with the three-point shot. Up, oh, no good. good. Missed bad. Gibson receiving the offense, and that pass will be nearly stolen. Intended for Danny Washington. Reynolds with the screen. Danny Washington got the matchup that he wants. 
Watch with the pass. Three point Reynolds shot. Reynolds shot up and no good. Three point shot up and missed by Reynolds. Steven Walker with the height advantage. Shot up, no good. Enrico Gibson with the rebound. Gibson, who's been all over the glass so far tonight. He gets the ball up to Danny Washington. Washington to Gibson. Gibson to Darius Clark. Clark, Clark back to Washington. Pass to Washington. Washington looking for him. Ume working. Ten seconds left Ume, on the shot clock. Ume, is. Ume with three point shot up, no good. Rebounded. I know a 55, Sean Smith, the junior out of Louisville, Kentucky. Smith looking to get some going for the Hornets. That shot be up and no good. Rebounded by Danny Washington. And Washington with the pass to Clark. It's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow favors the Hornets. Clark was smothered by a host of Hornets. May have got stung. And, and with that, it. stoppage, we'll be taking our media timeout of under 10. Media timeout, 13-10. Three-point advantage for the Alabama State Hornets. Delta Devils looking to cloud our way back into this game. Valley Sports Network, we'll be right back after this break. It's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Valley Sports Network, we're back. Delta Devils are trailing by 3, 13, 10. Delta Devils make substitutions. Donovan Sanders in. Chile Ume, Darius Clark, Raquan Brown, and Reg Reginald Reynolds. The five for your Delta Devils. Delta Devils still looking to cut into this lead a little. In position. In potentially take the lead. Nice pass by Smith. Nice dunk by Okun. Five point ball game. Donovan Sanders pass to Ume back to Reynolds. I'm oh, surprised didn't take that shot. Sanders run the offense back to Reynolds. Tough Sanders shot. Tough still back shot. Donovan Sanders. Kind of reminded me of Isaiah Thomas. Donovan Thomas. Donovan Garland. Nice shot, Donovan Sanders. Three-point ball game. Delta Devils still trailing. 5.50 to go in this first half. Do another pass down low. To the big guy. It's gonna be a turnover on the Hornets. As they try to take their offense to Ocon. And number one, Amar Knox makes his first appearance of tonight's ball game. Comes in for number five, Kendall Parker. Amar Knox, the 
six foot three, 170 pound research freshman out of Memphis, Tennessee. Reynolds with a nice head fake. Can't get the mid range to go. Rebound, rebound about Knox. Rebound about Knox. Knox was past the Smith. Back to Knox. And it. It's going to be a block call. The Delta Dillers will be called for the block. Sean Smith looking to work. Find Isaiah Reigns. Reigns with a nice layup. He's fouled on his shot attempt. Okay, look, both teams slow so far this game. Like, what has been the story? Um, Andre, honestly, I can't tell you, man. I know the Alabama State Hornets are shooting 14% from the three-point line right now. Delta Devils are shooting 33 Um. Slow start on the three-point line. Both teams rebounding well. I think right now, it's the turnovers. Delta Devils are currently at seven. Right now, that appears to be the difference in tonight's game. For sure, Caleb. Five-point ball game. This range made second free throw. Donovan Sanders brings it to the front court. Looking to get something going. If Jordan Johnson makes his first appearance in tonight's ball game, the senior out of Memphis. Sanders resetting the offense. Five seconds left on the shot clock. And Sanders will put him on Sanders Island. But he Can't get the bucket. Five point finish. ball game. Three point Smith shot up by shot Smith. Corner. Rebound by Octave. No Offensive rebound by the Hornets. And range. And range showing Show his range. range. Nice. Nice crossover step back. Three point shot. Eight point ball game. ASU with the lead. Joy Johnson leading the offense for the Bills. He'll give it to Donovan Sanders. We'll pass it back. Break on Brown with the pass to Ume. That's Joy Johnson will get to break on Brown. His mid-range mid shot will be up and no good. Rebound by Ocon. Smith with the runner. And there's going to be an offensive foul called on 55. Smith. Excuse me, 35 Ocon. I'm going to say he wasn't set on that screen. And with that foul, we'll be heading to another Valley Sports Network break. We'll be right back after these messages. Today, join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. We're back at Valley Sports Network. Delta Devils trailing by eight with four minutes remaining in this first half of play. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
That pass will be nearly turned over. Defense on the play by number one, Martin Knox. Young man, you might remember from a couple years ago, going at a YouTube sensation, J.D. Davidson. Ball inbound to Raekwon Brown. Sanders with a layup Lady, shot up and good. And Octave gets it to Knox. Knox to Hines. Hines on Sanders working. Shot up. Jump ball called. Possession arrow favors the Delta like Devils. Defense, Delta Devils. If they look to chip into this lead even more. Jonathan Sanders with the feed down the work on ground. Give it to Danny Washington. Pass to Brown for Reynolds. Turn around, jumper up. No good by Raekwon Brown. Rebounded by the Hornets. And Hines will be getting into the front court for the Hornets. Hornets downhill. Hines finds Knox in that short corner. Shot missed. Rebounded by Sanders. Foul by Knox. Foul on Knox who reached in and Sanders might have taught him. Matlock checking back into the game for Knox. The Hornets picks up their third foul of this first half with two minutes and 36 seconds remaining. Delta Devil trail by six. Mike D's down low to number 22. There's Reynolds. Reynolds finds Sanders. Sanders up. Oh, open. Good. Good. Donovan Sanders. Donovan, Donovan Sanders. Donovan Sanders shooting it out there like Fox. A little bit. Of, and there's going to be a late call. foul call by the, by the referee. And, and the crowd yeah. doesn't like that at all. The crowd is very, 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 very upset with that call, Andre. For sure, Caleb. As a matter of fact. kind of delayed. As a matter of fact. I think I'm a little upset about that one, man. T.J. Medlock at the line. First free throw open. No good. Boing, yoing, yoing. Ball does not lie. The ball does not tell stories. Just Stephen Walker checks back in. For number 23, Eric Coleman. Coleman go takes a seat. T.J. Medlock shooting his second free throw. Melot looking to extend his lead to two possessions. And he misses both. Andre, ball doesn't tell no story. At all, Caleb. At all. Nice skill pass to Sanders. Sanders. Same pass back to Washington. 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 Pass to Brown. At the Delta Devils. Sanders feeling Sanders. it. Shot up, but no good. And he leads that one wide right. They're going to end for a clock reset. Hornets take position, leading by three with one minute, 47 Arrico. seconds remaining. There'll be a foul on number three, Donovan Sanders. Damn. He will pick up his third. And he would like to check out for the remainder of the half. Number five, Walter Hamilton checking in the 6'8, 220-pound senior out of Potts County, Mississippi.
First free throw up and good for TJ Matlock. And Matlock knocks down the free throw, misses the second. Four point ball game, minute and 30 to go in this first half. How would a Delta Devils answer, Andre? Simple. Go slow and score the ball. Raekwon Brown shot up and no good. Rebounded by the Hornets. Delta Devils have to stop settling for shots and nice attack the rebound by Brown. As we approach, Enrico Gibson three point from the corner. Bang! Enrico Gibson with the three. Arico one point Gibson. ball game. One point ball game. Six seven, two hundred ten pound senior out of Memphis, Tennessee. One point ball game. Twenty to twenty one. The Delta Devils are fighting back. Delta Devils once trailed twenty to eighteen, which was an eight point ball game. The game is now down to one position, one point. Caleb, what do you have to say about the Delta Devils in their fight? I absolutely love how the Delta Devils are fighting. How they're hitting the open man. But most importantly, Andre, I love the confidence and the shots they're taking. Taking some good shots. Shots is the name of the game. It's basketball. They're playing some good basketball right now. Do you agree? Yeah, of course I agree, Caleb. Look at the lead. The Delta Devils fought back. They didn't took their tail. They said, we're at home. We're at home. Delta Devils are hungry, though. Correction, Delta Devils have 19 points. Instead of 20, still a one-position ball game. as they look to potentially get a stop in Tidy's game or take the lead going into halftime. As Hines pushes into the front court, working on Washington. Washington with a nice, tough defense. Range, dribble drive, midi. Doesn't like it, get it out the octave. 10 seconds to go on his shot clock. As Knox goes all the way, shot up, rebounded by the Hornets. Never be over the back call on number 25, just Stephen Walker. Just Stephen Walker just literally ran over the guy. Caleb, if you're Coach Ivory right now, what do you tell your team? 34 seconds left. Do you, do you wait or do you get what you have? You know, I just tell them just to play. 26 seconds, man. Let's go get a bucket. Said. Coach Ivory. Well, it looks like the Delta Devils are holding the ball. Not Shot just by Danny Washington. Danny Washington said, never mind. Oh and the Delta Devils take the lead. Four One point ball game. Two seconds. Turn nice over by, by Washington. By Washington. Turn over by the Hornets. Nice the Delta by Devils Washington. take a one-point nice lead. Nice way to end the first half, Delta Devils. Devils. Oh, gee, Delta Devils with a one-point advantage. Ending the first half on a 10-to-1 run. Ah! Oh, let's go, Valley. One-point ball game here at the Valley Sports Network, the R.W. Harrison Complex. 22-21, the Hornets are behind. The Delta Devils are in the driver's seat. It's nice to hear, Caleb. We're absolutely killing it. Absolutely. Big shout out to Athletic Director Hakeem. Big shout out to the V Club. Big shout out Valley Sports Network. Thank you everybody that tuned in. We'll be right back after this break.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? For now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's mvsuvclub.com.
everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At NBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At NBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, Come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope.
Valley Sports Network. We're back for this electrifying second half. After that lightning quick first half, as the Valley State Delta Devils came out and take a 22-21 advantage over the Alabama State Hornets. Andre, how are you feeling? Um, Caleb, I'm, um, I'm feeling kind of good about this one, Caleb. Delta Devils leading at halftime at home. First halftime home. Home, lead. half, lead. Sounds like a, a recipe to success for me. Three. First shot up and Number good three for the Hines. Hornets. Says. He might have heard me talking and might have told me to shut my mouth. Most definitely. The Hornets take a one-point advantage, 23-22. Delta Devils, first possession of the second half. Watch the pass to Sanders. And Sanders. And Sanders on Sanders Island and shot over no good. Danny Washington with the tough defense. Second shot over, no good. Rebounded by Matlock. And he would be denied at the rim by Rico Gibson. And Delta Delves in transition. Sands the pass to Brown. Brown the pass to Hamilton. And Hamilton will turn the ball over. And the Hornets in transition. And the Hornets will be heading to the line. Foul on number two, Arico Gibson. That'll be Gibson's second personal That's team number foul three, number one. C.J. Hines at the line. Second personal first team. And Hines with the this point total up to three for tonight. And the Hornets, Hornets build their lead up to three. Good. Nice Just pass the by with Gibson. Them. Getting into the front court. Their press break, but they will reset shop. Sanders with the with the pass to the, the foot of the Hornet and it would be a kickball violation. Delta Devils looking to get on the board for the first time this half. Brown with the ball on the wing. It'll be a dish down low to Hamilton. Messed up with the big guy. Hamilton to pass to Sanders, who would pass to Washington. There's no one paid, a, paid attention to the shot clock. And um, apparently not, Andre. It seems like there was no sense of urgency right there on that possession. Turnover, Delta Devils, Alabama State. Good defensive possession. A little bit of tough lay by line, by Hines. Delta Dills in transition. Raquan Brown. Picked away by range. Hines to Matlock. Matlock with a nice step through lay. Five point advantage for the Hornets. Simmons breaking the press. Sanders running the offense, pass to Wayne and Washington. Pass back to Brown and back to Sanders who throw to the corner to Washington. The Hornets open this second half. Five seconds left on the shot clock. I scoring the Delta Washington Delta with by the six. Layup, barely tipped. And the Hornets will take position. He'll be smothered by Washington. And the Delta Delta will take possession. 
Sanders with a nice left hand lay. Nice left hand layup by Donovan Sanders. And it'll lead to a foul on the other end by number five, Walter Hamilton. Number 20, TJ Medlock will be heading to the line. Because he's had a rough time tonight at the line. As Coleman and Smith checks in for the Hornets, Okun and CJ Hines will have a seat. Second May free throw tonight by Medlock. He's two for five on the night. Second free throw open, good. On the standard lead to five and Delta to Devils. You see in the offense as they broke the full court trout. Reynolds with the with the nice move down low and Reynolds will be heading to the line. Nice move by Reynolds is tell Raekwon, man, just get out of the way, man. Let me work. And it worked out for him as he will be taking a trip to the line for the first time tonight. Earn is two at the line. As line for Michigan Panel, 22, Reginald Reynolds. Shooting two. First free throw up and good by Reynolds. Second free throw up, no good. Go, 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 go. Rebounded by Octave. And Smith, jump stop, Smith working with on him. Washington. Moves, but nice, nice defense by the Delta Devils. Raekwon Brown with the rebound. Daniel Washington. In the offense. Dish down low to Rico Gibson will be fouled upon receiving the ball. So with the foul on Octave, it will lead us to a Media timeout with the deal to deal was chilling by four. And we'll be right back here at Valley Sports Network. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. And Valley Sports Network, we're back. Delta Devils with the possession. Rico Gibson, the inbound the ball from the baseline. Low scoring game thus far, 25 29, 15 minutes to go in the second. Second half. Drink the 
Sanders with the man, Sanders with the turnover. Nice hustle by number 23. Eric Coleman. Transition. It's gonna be a foul call. There'll be a foul on number 22, original Reynolds. And number 55, Sean Smith will be at the line. Looking to earn, earn his points. Couple swag updates. Alabama A&M and Arkansas playing bluff. Game is tied with three minutes and 34 seconds left. First free throw up and good by Smith. And it takes Southern. Tigers lost to Southern by seven. Grambling beat Prairie View by six. Bethune beat FAMU by 12. And Jackson State beat Alcorn by eight. Both free throws good by Smith. As Danny Washington looks to get the offense going for the Delta Devils as the Bama State Hornets hold a six-point advantage. Runs with the pass down low to Gibson. That pass will be nearly turned over. This thing's turned to a dog fight. A nice scrappy game is. Neither team are shy or ashamed to hit the floor and get dirty. Seems like the real true definition of let them boys play ball just happen. Most definitely, Andre. And that's the devil's with the possession. Trailing by six. It'll be a pass down low and 10 for number 22, Reginald Reynolds, but he was fouled by number 23, Eric Coleman. And Eric Coleman picks up his second personal team foul number three for the Hornets. Gives it the pass inbound to Reynolds. And they're going to say Reynolds was out of bounds on the baseline. Knox leading charge right now for the Hornets. Looking to be a travel call on number one, Amar Knox. As he tried to work his way inside against Reynolds, and Reynolds just wasn't going. Just wasn't having it. Turnover by the Hornets and built the Devils. With Dunder Sanders leading the charge right now. Raekwon Brown pass to Gunnar Sanders. Reynolds with the pass to Washington. Washington shot is up and no good. Rebounded by the Hornets. It's going to be a foul call on number 23. It's going to be called on Eric Coleman and picked up three quick fouls. Yeah, with that foul, you have a substitution by the Delta Devils, number 24, Ernest, Ernest Minton checking in for number two, Rico Gibson. Six-point advantage for the Hornets. It's going to be another foul call on Omar Knox, and the Hornets are just picking up a lot of fouls. It seems as though the Hornets may not, may need to work defensive slides. Andre, what do you think? Um, Caleb, what I think right now, capitalize. Is all I'm thinking, capitalize, capitalize. Is all that has to happen. We have to capitalize. Raekwon Brown shot, and he was fouled on his jumper. And Back to what I just said, capitalize. And with Two that, free throws. That'll put the Alabama State Hornets at six fouls with 13 minutes to go in the second half. It seems as though they keep going at that rate that the Delta Dose has been a double bonus. Sure, Pretty Caleb. soon. Right now we're in the one and one. Need to try to get to that double bonus so we can be shooting two all the way. And I think that would be the difference in tonight's game if we can attack 
their weaknesses on defense and continue to make those guys commit those costly fouls. First free throw over, no good by Brown. And like I said, the deal to deal, the deal to deal was have to capitalize. Free throws, turnovers, transition, just capitalize. Warriors take position, leading by five with 13 minutes and 30 seconds left in this ball game. A nice up fight by Coleman. Eric Coleman. It's going to be a block call by Ernest Minton. And the crowd doesn't like that one as it seems as though Ernest had been down there for quite a long time, set up. But the ref think otherwise. First free throw up and good for Eric Coleman. Let's see get on the board for the first time tonight. And 13, Darius Clark checking in for number 22, Reginald Reynolds. Clark's first appearance in the second half of tonight's game. Second fifth to open no good. Delta the Devils. <laughs> Trailing by six. Delta Devils look to eat away at this lead that the Hornets hold right now. Raekwon Brown with the drive. He will head to the line as the Hornets commit their seventh foul of the first half of the second half. First personal team foul number seven. At the line zero, Raekwon Brown. Shooting two. Raekwon Brown at the line. His first shot was looking good. And the Hornets are making three subs. Hines, Range, and Okun come in for That's Smith. Knox, Parker, and Coleman. Set of fresh new legs on the court for the Hornets. And Raekwon Brown. His second shot was open, no good. Misses the second free throw. Yeah, like at the top, and he tried to stop on a dime. Yeah. It's an offensive rebound by the big guy, number 35, Ubong Okon. Five-point ball game, 12 minutes and 39 seconds to go here in this second half. Let's get a uh, shot clock reset, 19. Nice shot by Range, missed. Rebound by Okun. There'll be another rebound by the big guy. They'll be up and up good. Rebounded by the Delta Devils. And they try to make this a one position ball game with 12 minutes remaining. Minton, entry pass to Brown. Brown working. Brown back to Minton. Minton pass to Sanderson. Washington with the ball. Darius Clark. Darius Clark with a tough layup. Up and in. Hines with this nice step back. No good. Short. Another rebound by Rain. Rebound by the 
Hornets, which have been the story of why they have the lead right now. Range. Isaiah Reigns with a nice jump shot up and missed three-point ball game. Delta Devils can tie or cut at the one on this possession. Serve the pass. Nice yeah, layup by, nice Donovan layup by Donovan Sanders. Donovan Sanders. One point the ball game. guy with the heart of a lion. They'll get his point total up to double digits. The only deal to devil in double figures right now. As the leading scorer, Raekwon Brown, is having a pretty quiet night. And the swag opener with only four. His average is 15. I see a range with the two points through the lane. Three point ball game. Delta Devils trailing. 10 minutes and 17 seconds to play. Six second shot clock. The pass Ernest Minton. Minton with the corner three. Minton with the shot up and no good. Rebounded by the Delta, Delta Devils. Devils. Regain Re possession and Danny a nice Washington. layup. The nice left hand lay, right, one point 10. ball game. Hornets standing Washington with the advantage. As Madlock looks to find something, Sanders with a nice defense. They're gonna say he's he fouled on his jump well. shot. Fouled by Sanders. And with that foul call, we'll be taking a media timeout. 34-33, the Alabama State Hornets lead the Delta Devils as we approach the under 10-minute mark here at the R.W. Harrison Complex. Special shout-out to everybody who's watching. Happy New Year. And Valley Sports Network, we'll be right back after this break. The V Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's nvsuvclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At NBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. And Valley Sports Network, we're back from that short break. Alabama State Hornets leading this game 34-33 as T.J. Madlock will be at the line to shoot two. And, Andre, what would you say would be the story of the game thus far? Um, Caleb, honestly, what I could really say, um, turnovers. Going too fast as the score is only 33 to 35 with 10 minutes remaining in this ball game. It's only 68 points combined, so both Lo teams just have to capitalize. Low scoring both teams game. Teams are failing. Low scoring game. I know underbetters are very, very happy with this one. Out of Danny Washington. Raekwon Brown working on Matlock. Raekwon with the step back jumper. Up, no good. Rebounded by Gilson. Finds Gilson. Clark. Clark with an easy Clark. layup. And we've got it all knotted up at 35. Valley Sports Network. Let's go. Clark looks like he's trying to leave everything on the floor tonight. Most definitely. 
But Andre, like we said earlier. Nice block. Like we said earlier, man, Delta Devils are playing a tough, tough, tough non-conference schedule. Probably the toughest in the nation, if you ask me. Maybe one of the toughest. For sure. Maybe one of the toughest for sure, Caleb. So they're definitely battle tested as they come in the swag play. It's all about going out getting the job done. And they've been doing it so far tonight as they try to defend home court. Madlock working on Clark. Madlock with the drive. Missed. Rebounded by the Delta Devils. Nearly turned over. Last touch by Hornets. Be Delta Devils ball. Eight minutes and 30 to go. Let's deal with the inbound. It'll be stolen shortly after by the Hornets. We have number five for the Hornets head to the line, Kendall Parker. And if I'll be on number 23, correction number two, Mariko Gibson. It'll be his third of the night. Kendall Park at the line for the first time tonight. Trying to see if he can give the Hornets the lead. Shot up, good. Nothing but bottom. First free throw up and good. I don't know if he did a, a step back jump shot on his free throw or what, but way it's it looked, pretty unique. Most definitely. In out twin crossover step back. Shot. Free throw. Miss. No Rebounded good. by the Brown. Still the Devils trail by one with eight minutes, ten saves remaining in this ball game. Danny Washington leading the charge for the Delta Devils. Raekwon Brown with the ball. Looking to find something. Raekwon working on SE. They're going to be a foul call. We're here to the line. They're going to be the eighth foul, 18 foul on the Hornets. And with that, Raekwon will be going to the line to shoot free throws. Found Not before we take this media break. Media Valley Sports break. Network, we'll be right back after this one. Valley Sports Network, we're back after that short break. One point ball game. Raekwon Brown looking to take the advantage here as he's shooting two at the line. 36 35 Hornets with the advantage. Brown two for five on the night so far from the line. Let's see if he can make these and give the Delta Devils the lead. First shot up and good. Tie ball game. Oh. 
second shot up. Good. Good. Delta Devils. And Delta Devils, Devils with their lead. first lead. Their first lead since 14 seconds to go in the first half. Good defense by Gibson. Raekwon Brown. Brown. a transition. And he's fouled. And he will head to the line once again as number 25, just Stephen Walker. And right now Didn't the Hornets, the Hornets just have no answer. Grab the ball, did he? Just like I said, Caleb, capitalize, turnovers, capitalize. They're getting to the line now. Raekwon Brown, first free throw, open good. They're capitalizing off the turnovers. And they could be the recipe for success tonight. As both teams look for their first sweat win. 38-36, Mississippi Valley State with the advantage. Three-point ball game, deal to Devils. Shot open, no good. Rebound about a deal to Devils, Rico Gibson. Three-point ball game. Danny Washington leading the charge. In this second half, the, the uh, Delta Devils have been very efficient. Shooting 50% from the field. Six seconds left in. Washington. That's going to be a goal, 10. We'll say count the basket. And right now it's getting ugly for the Hornets as the Delta Devils are on a run of their own, and the points are just piling up, and the fouls are just piling up for the Hornets, and the lead is just growing for the Delta Devils. And the Hornets can't defend the rim, and, and we're just going crazy right now. and Just putting the ball through the net right now. and Everything is just going good for the Delta Devils at the R.W. Harrison Complex. Delta Devils lead by five with six minutes remaining in this ball game. Shout out Coach Ivory for the adjustments that he's Big made. Guy with most and that's going to be a offensive, offensive foul. foul. Oh, cool. I don't know if this guy's defensive end or, or, or center. This guy is strong. Delta Devils going to this timeout with a five-point lead. And we'll be right back after this oh. media time out. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Valley Sports Network, we're back. The Delta Devils hold a five-point advantage. Nice pass. Get it up court to Darius Clark by Raekwon Brown. Delta Devils looking to extend his lead. Six minutes remaining in this ball game. 
Gets with the pass to Brown and He'll put him on the island, turn around, shot, up and no good. Hornets in transition. Matlock tries to get it inside. And Matlock will head to the line. Good defense by Hamilton, but he's caught with the foul. And it'll be his second personal foul, 17 foul. And right now, both teams are in the bonus, so free throws will be awarded after every foul. But the Hornets are already up to 10, so. They're like first free throw up and no good. Second free throw up and good as he extends his point total to double digits. Four-point ball game, Delta Devils. Two-point ball game, Delta Devils as the Hornets score in transition. Delta Devils have to slow down. Two-point advantage as we approach the five-minute mark in this ball game. Pass down low be to Enrico Gibson. Gibson yeah, heads to the Gibson line is number three, CJ Hines. Said you have to earn them. And Enrico Gibson is a pretty efficient free throw shooter for the Delta Devils. He is somebody that you can count to knock him down. Gibson heads to the line for the first time tonight. And their first shot will be up and good. Three-point ball game, four minutes, 57 seconds remaining. Enrico Gibson up, good. Second shot up and good. Perfect from the strike this time. Corner still looking for an answer. As the Delta Devils are applying pressure. Shot up and no good. Took shot by Octave. Rebounded by Brown. Took shot by Octave. Missed. Delta Devils with the four point lead. That pass will be from Washington to Gibson. Gibson, who will ISO with nice spin, and Delta Devil will retain position with two seconds left on the shot clock. Amar Knox, Isaiah Range, and Sean Smith checking in for Kendall Parker. TJ Matlock. And two seconds left. Andre, I can imagine that the correction, the Hornets have too many Hornets on the court. Might need pitch control in here. <laughs> Good one, Andre. It's going to be a turnover by the Delta Devils. It's going to be a tough layup. Missed, rebounded by the Hornets, put in for the easy two. Three minutes and 55 seconds to play. Delta Devils up two. And the Hornets trail by two as they try to apply pressure to try to fight to get their first win of the season as the Delta Devils are not backing down. Most definitely. Two-point ball game, MVSU 43, Alabama State Hornets 41. We'll be right back after this break, Valley Sports Network. Be club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. 
We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Valley Sports Network, we're back. Two-point advantage for the Delta Devils. They lead 43-41. Hornets trailing. Three minutes and 51 seconds to play. Both teams looking to earn their first swag win. Delta Devils looking to earn their first win on the season. Blood is boiling. The stakes are high. Last three minutes to go. Let's see how it ends, Andre. All right, Caleb. Let's put this in, into perspective. Just think about if you're playing 2K, what would you be doing in this situation right now with three minutes and 30 seconds remaining, up by two if you were the Delta Devils? I would definitely be, I would definitely be running the clock down a little bit and just looking to continue to get to the line. They are, they have 10 fouls, so next foul with a double bonus, I would definitely be looking to get to the line any way possible. For sure, Caleb. So jump shots would be at a minimum. Point is true about two, three minutes. And 15 seconds, shot up, no good, but rebound by the range. Hornets. That's gonna be a foul call on Brown. A knick-knack call. Foul on zero. Brown. The Hornets one and one. We're head to the line as they're in a bonus. Dilts and Dills need to box out. First free throw open, good. One point lead by the Delta Devils. Three minutes remaining in this ball game. Second free throw open, no good. Foul number 23, Eric Coleman. Is, he's been wrestling all night. His fourth of the night. And the Delta Devils be shooting too. And lines two. Arico Gibson. Shooting two. Come on, Eric. substitution. Delta Devils lead by one. Arico Gibson at the line. He's perfect on the night so far. First we throw open good. Second free throw up. No good. On his trail by two. Three minutes remaining in this ball game. Nice defense by Danny Washington. And the near still led to a floater by number one, Amar Knox. And this tie ball game, two minutes. The Hornets, with 40 seconds up. remaining. With 44. Crunch time. Near a turnover by the Delta turnover. Devils. Rico Gibson. Nice move the, by Gibson. The nice two through the lane. To get the advantage of the two. And the Hornets, that's a right back. This is a shootout right now, Caleb. Are we at the gun range? Not sure where we are right now, but right now we're going back and forth with these shots. 
tie ball game with two minutes, 16 seconds remaining. This game is electric right now, Caleb. Most definitely. 30 second timeout. Andre, two minutes and 16 seconds to go. If you're in the huddle for the Hornets, what are you saying? Simply telling them, team, just slow down. Tie game. We're in a bonus. Just make your make free throws. Get to the line. As well as the, the same thing for the, for the Delta Devils. They're in a double bonus. Guaranteed two shots every time you go to the line. Every time you get fouled from now on, guaranteed two shots. So I just say just capitalize, which has been a big, big part of this game. Still to Devils take possession. Danny Washington. Two minutes. 46, 46 ball game. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Seven, six. For Rico Gibson. Rico Gibson gets to the rack. No foul is called. Tie game. Horn is looking to take the advantage. Shot, Shot open, no, no good. good. Rebound about the Clark. Devils. Clark. And minute 35 to go. Donovan Sanders bring it to the front court. Donovan Sanders. And Andre. This guy has some moves on the table. Every play definitely matters here on out. Everything matters. Tie ball game. A minute 20 seconds left. It's where pressure come. Uh oh. Shot near, up. Near and one by Raekwon Shot Brown. No good. Foul on number 20. As he had the chance to go to the line. Medlock. Raekwon Brown had the chance to go to the line and get a two point advantage as we approach a minute to go in this SWAC home opener. First free throw, open good. And that leads me back to the C word, capitalize. Most definitely, Andre. And a near platoon swap on the way for the Alabama State Hornets. As Raekwon Brown makes both free throws and the Hornets swapping. Nearly the whole team out of this ball game. Way not the foul. Good. Minute to go in this game. Tie ball game. Four to eight. Four to eight. A minute to go, Caleb. What are you doing? Tie ball game. What are you doing, Caleb? Just trying to get to the line. Considering that you have to give the Hornets another position right here. We got to get a bucket right now. We have to. If not, we have to get a stop. Five seconds on the ice pass to Rico Gibson. Side open. Good. Side good. Side open. Good. Side open. Good. With the corner. The three. Devils. Rico Devils. Rico Gibson. We here. A Rico Gibson. With the big time three in the corner. The senior guard out of Memphis, Tennessee. The senior guard out of Memphis, the Tennessee. Andre Harrison Complex is absolutely rocking right He's now. I'm showing you. The Andre Harrison. From Memphis. The R.W. Harrison. You have to shoot a gun. You can shoot a ball. The R.W. Harrison Complex shot up and good. Rico Gibson. And right now, the referees at the monitor trying to check and see. They're trying to look at something. I sure what they're looking at. But Andre, seems as though hey, Arico blacked his eye. He need hey, an eye patch. I think I have a oh, couple in the car because I knew this, this type of thing was going to happen today. So I mean, might need to go to the car and grab one. What a shot, Arico Gibson. Arico Gibson, the story of the last couple minutes for the Delta Devils. 
Gibson is for sure the hot hand. And how would the Hornets answer, Caleb? Andre? Are you, if you're the Hornets coach, are you saying get a quick two or hold the ball to potentially try to tie the game? Andre, the way the game's going, been going, they might have just put the Hornets away. They already really didn't want to be here. And after review, the three-point shot will count as a three-point shot. And Rico Gibson, the forward out of Memphis, Tennessee, will be heading to the line. Free throw up, but no good. But the Delta Devils still lead by, by three. three. How the Hornets answer? Hines, dribble drive. Hines, Hines. looking to find some. Hines, Hines. the range. The Hornets. Range. Back to Hines. Back to Hines. Hines. Hines to Octave. Octave to Matlock. Matlock, shot up. Oh. No, no good. good. Offensive rebound by the Hornets. That's going to be a foul call. And this foul be on the, on the ground by number two. Rico Gibson will be called for a hold. Speaking of a hold, okay, let's see if the Delta Devils can hold this lead and hold on for their first win of swacking and their first win of the season and hold on to what would be the number one spot in the Swag East. You said it, not me, Caleb. You said it, not me, Caleb. First free throw. Oh, good. good. So, Andre, of course the Hornets are going to try to miss this shot. The Delta Devils have to rebound. They have to rebound. Well, let's or, see. Or if the Hornets make know? the shot. Or if the Hornets make the shot, the Delta Devils have to capitalize on the free throw line. And this game will be in the Hornets with the with the tough late for traffic and the de to Devils just have to come capitalize as I've said all night. This game not over. Six seconds is a long time, Caleb. Most definitely. And Matlock hasn't even hit and the free throw. He has to make the free he throw. He has to make the free throw. Matlock has to make the free throw. Caleb and 6.4 seconds remaining in this ball game. It would just look like it was over. Now it look like it can go much longer. If the Hornets doesn't doesn't make this shot and the Delta Devil doesn't make their next shot, we can have we can have overtime. An extra period. And but Kayla, we're in the RW Harrison Complex where amazing happens. Most and, definitely. And I feel the Delta Devils will finish this thing out with a victory. I feel the same way, Andre. Both teams, both teams have one time out remaining, Caleb. So the Hornets make this shot. If I'm Coach Ivory, I'm calling time out. We're sitting up half court. We're going to get this victory. Most definitely. This appears as if the referees are discussing the, the time. Teams back out on the court.
Hornets looking to potentially take the lead. The crowd is letting the Hornets hear it. Free throw up and good. Matlock knocks it down. And he makes that free throw as, as if it was his responsibility. And the Hornets take the lead with six seconds. Caleb, what are you drawing up right now? You're Coach Ivory. Who, who, like, whose hands are you putting the ball in right now? Right now? And I feel there's one name. I don't know one name you should. Maybe two. I'm, maybe two. I'm thinking maybe Ray three guys. But as of right now. I'm thinking Ray Warren Brown right now. I'm thinking. Well, I'm, I'm kind of kind of thinking Rico Gibson. He has like Most seven definitely. out of their last ten. Most definitely. He's been knocking them down from the free throw line. So I'm thinking kind of Rico. Most definitely. Most definitely. Time will tell. 6.4 seconds ago. 52, 51. Delta Delta trailing. Valley Sports Network, let's go. Valley Sports Network, where amazing happens. First sweat game, as dramatic as we can have it. It's all you can ask for. Everybody in the RW Harrison Complex are getting their money's worth at this game right now. And if you're watching this, you could have been doing anything with your life right now, but you're watching the best sports network in the nation. So, so we appreciate you guys for tuning in. As the deal to deal was try to take home this victory. And, and this and this guy will be wrapped up in the R. W. Harrison Hyper Complex. Capped out by a dunk by number one, Amar Knox. And, and we don't. I mean, what more can you ask for? Good the game. Kind of shaky towards the good end. Good game. Good game by the Hornets. Good game, good game by both teams. Good game by yes, sir. Point ball game. That's the great game by Matt Lock. To put his team on not his the back. favorites. Nice game by both teams. But guess what? We come back Monday. Valley Sport Network, we're back Monday. With a chip on our shoulder. With a chip on our shoulder. We take on the Alabama and them Bulldogs. About to get it done. Looking to split this Alabama trip in half. We're about to get it done. I'd like to thank everybody that tuned in once again. Happy New Year. You tuned in to the best sports network in the, the nation. nation. My name is Caleb Brunson. And my name is Andre Williams. And we'll be back Monday. Everybody have a safe night. Enjoy yourself.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs. You could say, we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Whether you're buying a home, auto, or consolidating debt, CBNS Bank offers personal loan solutions. Or setting new business goals, our commercial loans can help you achieve them. At CBNS Bank, we're here for all of your banking needs. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow, 